Yeah, keep whoever you got on there. We don't much care about that. I think I heard something. If she could speak now, she say, we out. <laughs> Americans are too busy being focused on symbolism. We have a lot of people who watch these news programs and think that these things are good because or good for them, or good for their lives, or somehow going to impact their children. Well, it's not going to impact their children. But we got these cable news people who make a living off of reading off a teleprompter and also being vacuous and empty and riling them up, riling them up and getting them to cheerlead for something that's not really going to impact them in a positive way. I'm telling you. But there's nowhere more present where that's obvious than in this whole thing about her and Tubman and the $20 bill. Look, if you are so concerned about her and Tubman being on the $20 bill that you forget that you don't have no $20 bills in your wallet, you got a problem. If you're so concerned about her and Tubman being on the $20 bill, you don't realize that they're screwing you out of more than several $20 bills. If you don't realize, as Lamar Bowman said, we should send everybody $120 bills every month until this COVID thing is over and make it retroactive back to March of last year, then you don't get it. You don't understand what's going on. If you don't understand it using her and Tubman, this symbolic figure, in order to screw you and screw us all out of what we should get. And if you don't understand that they use the Harry Tubman, the symbolism of Harry Tubman, to continue to disenfranchise you, black American, black American voter who voted for Biden, without your vote, there would be no Biden. There'd be another four years of Trump. If you don't realize they carting out this gesture of Harry Tubman, to silence you, to nullify you, to quiet you down, to keep you passive. Then you don't know what's going on. And if you think I'm a coon, you think that I'm a seller, I'm the one that got it wrong. Because I don't understand how great it would be to have this black woman on the $20 bill. Then you are the problem. Look, they're not doing nothing for us other than pacifying us pretending to care about us. And that's one thing, man. Like, look, I have never voted Republican in my life. But at least the Republicans let you know they don't really give a shit. They let, they let me know pretty clear. It's very clear. They send these signals out. They have people like Ted Cruz. People like Marco Rubio. People like Mitch McConnell. Very clear that they don't care about me, okay? Very clear. Make it very clear. Crystal clear. There's no ambiguity. There's no mixed signals here, Johnson. Yeah, they got Tim Scott, but Tim Scott be doing more skinning and grinning. And, uh, he can't even admit, well, maybe Trump just misspoke. And if he did misspeak, then maybe, uh, I don't know, boss. <laughs> he can't be honest. Sleepy Ben. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to take a nap. I grew up in the hood, but I never, I never thought I'd be, be looking over the hood. And all these times I look over the HUD. So, so the Republicans make it clear to me that they don't give a damn. But these damn Democrats, they lie. They use words. They do use fake solidarity with us. I want, I want white people. I want white people to recognize that there is systemic racism. It's also in employment, it's in housing, but it is in the criminal justice system as well. And especially for those moments when this campaign was at its lowest ebb, the African-American community stood up again for me. You always have my back, and I'll have yours. But then again, we do have exceptions really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. And that's all Harriet Tubman, this $20 fiasco is, guys. It's just a way to trick us. It's the okie doke. It's the banana in the tailpipe. You keep your damn $20 bill, Harriet Tubman. Keep, keep your, Harriet Tubman probably wouldn't want to be on your damn money anyway. Harry Tubman, I gotta, I gotta imagine, Harry Tubman would want you to put some of them $20 bills, put whoever white supremacists on there you want to put on the, on the damn money, but give us some of that damn money. 
Yeah, keep whoever you got on there. We don't much care about that. I think I heard something. If she could speak now, she'd say, we out. Fuck you and your $20 bill. We want reparations. That's what she said. Something like that. She went to say, ooh, you get to commodify me. Great. Like it's a, like it's a badge of honor to be used by this country again. Like it's a badge of honor to be slapped on an instrument of trade of services and goods and services in this country. It's a, it's, it's so fitting though, isn't it? The same country that traded us like goods and services for goods and services to make goods and services are now going to be using the, putting us on the money to trade for goods and services and but still don't want to give us real equality. When I say, hey, give black people these business contracts so they can build up businesses, there's no reason why we should have 2% of the wealth after being in this country 400 years. You scoff at me and say, well, you don't want it bad enough. So take your damn hurry to and honorary $20 designation and just, just do right by the people. And if not, just get the hell out of office. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Don't be fooled by corporate media talking heads misleading the people. Get your news and information from an entity that keeps it real. Tim Black. Tim Black is the host of The Tim Black Show, independent news that leaves you informed, inspired, and sometimes entertained, but always in the know. Go to TimBlackTV.com and sign up today. The Tim Black Show is news for people who can't stand the news. See you there.